Well, is it, I've is tried. It, I did my design sense. Okay. So, so we know it's not a ghost, but do you, can, do you have a suplex sense? Because it's is it suplexable? I, I look at them and I say, ghosts don't suplex. They do leg drops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm I'm the one doing the suplex. Figure four leg locks. <laughs> well, they, well. Well, they start. Well, they start arguing. I'm gonna pull up my. Uh, yeah, arguing? We're joking. <laughs> no, no, no. I learned you guys joke, but I have a. I'm gonna start playing my saturn. Okay. Play a little music. It's, it's, a, a, it's a string instrument. It's a turn. Saturn. Right, I'm gonna walk up towards the lights. All right, you start heading towards the I'll lights. I'll I'll go with I'll go with right, this you, dragon guy. Okay, you and the dragon more start following the 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 colorful color of light. Uh, Rio, then what are you playing on your sit sitern? Sitern. I am singing playing a song of encouragement. Okay, which so is the cobalt, so the cobalt, just a song to kind of encourage him from stop from hiding behind my legs. <laughs> You're not hiding behind your legs. He's hiding behind a rock. To get him to come out from behind the rock. Maybe you want to be. Making tons of noise and saying, "Hey, come kill, come eat me," to a to a ten foot wide dragon. Right. Playing are, soothing sounds. I am a three foot tall kobold. I don't want to be eaten by a dragon. When Rio trust does, me, I've lived around dragons. Uh, roll they a. Will eat you. <laughs> uh, this soothing, calm feeling washes over you, Pickett, as Rio. I'm Odin's... calm because I'm hidden. I'm calm and hidden. It's fine. I'm still hidden. This not that soothing song <laughs> hits your ears and gives you a sense of slight sense of calm, but not enough calm probably to hide, come out from behind the rock. You're, you're there's so no there is no amount of calm that makes me so bravado that I go outside this rock. I leave this rock. Okay, um, so you guys head towards the dancing lights. Um, uh, you two, uh, Quelleth and King Kong, please read Perception. Perception? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm working there. Uh, eight? eight? Alright, 13. Um, King Kong, you do not hear this, but Quelleth, there is a soft giggling? in your ear and as soon as the when you hear the giggling there is kind of a sound which tries to kind of you know like <laughs> to come out cowardly beast <laughs> okay um you've never met you've never dealt with the thing before have you and so immediately uh after you hear that um, there is a small pine cone that drops on your head and falls to the ground. I look at it, kick it away. Uh, you look at it. Or... I, 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 I don't think anything of it. Okay. It's just a pine, it's just a pine cone. Uh, it's just a pine cone. Um, all right. Uh, at this point, there is a. I gotta see this. A, so, I don't know. It's not just me. Roll20 is having problems today. Oh, jeez. Hey, cat, fucking cat. No, I do. Go away, French Rod. Stop biting me. Um, Am I taken? No, I, I'm good. Uh, uh, okay. Um, King Kong and Quoth, I need you to roll a intelligence check for me please how do i uh is saving throw uh, unskilled. Intelligence. it's on your skills section on your character sheet you can be unskilled and in check let me let, oh, me, I see. Okay. let me see if it, you need a oh, yeah. yes a it's a, a in, intelligence check um or a investigation. It's an investigation check, pretty much. Oh, investigation. So, Good. Hang investigation, on, please. All right. All right, and King Kong, just row investigation for me, please. Okay. Good. Um. There is a small squirrel, small squirrel, like two small squirrels that start 
climbing on Quoth and King Kong's leg. Um, Quoth, you are able to shake it and realize that the creature is seems not to be um, solid. It 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 seems to your hand your elbow kind of goes through it. King Kong, there is this squirrel that's running up your leg and trying to get under your shirt and causing all kinds of havoc. I'm gonna grab it. All right, you attempt to grab this creature, but it's a slippery little thing. It, it goes, you know, it goes in your one of your shirt sleeve. It pokes his head out, and then it goes in back in, and you're just trying to just stamp this little beast off. And then suddenly, it goes on in your pants. Ah! <laughs> and you're trying to stamp it off. Cloth, you're you're able to shake it off, and it dissipates. I like King Kong and say. Is that a squirrel in your pants? Are you just happy to be on his mission? Oh. Ah! Apparently, he's not very. He he he's trying with his jokes. He's he's really trying. It's better. <laughs> um, Quoth, we're per for a performance check. Performance check. Mm -hmm. I was just twenty-two. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's like it's so fucking funny. Um. So you're chuckling. So you t uh, pick it and reel, and you see, you know, um, these two little figures um, c go up your compatriot's uh, clothing, and the figure on Quoth dissipates immediately. But King Kong seems to be struggling with something in his clothing, trying to shake off his, you know, shake his shirt, trying to, you know, pat his pants down. It looks like he's ants in his pants or something. Uh -huh. Can I roll a Connor? I want to see if I think that's an illusionary score. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's... Go ahead. Yeah, it's definitely an illusion of some sort. I want to actually use perception. I want to look around to see what's casting the illusion. Okay. Um, From your standpoint... You don't. Mm, you can't quite see, but there is a f like after you, you know, after Quelloff's very hilarious joke, there is. You think there is a flash of iridescent, iridescent, uh, a violet color, and then as soon as you see it, it it it. It um it just disappears and the the squirrel that was in King Kong's pants has is gone. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> um, I'm gonna use perception. Mm -hmm. um, subtract two from this number because this is. Uh, Hearing based, not sight based. Okay. Oh, nice. Oh, only twenty. All right. So, um, you with your keen eyes, you look up, and there is a. You see a rustling um, above the heads of Quoth and King Kong. It's about ten feet above their heads. Um, there is a tree branch, which looks like there's something a little that's. Giving, you know, the branch has some weight to it, but it doesn't look like there's something there. But there is clearly something there. There is weight to the branch. It's it's dipping because there's there appears to be something sitting on it, but you cannot um, see it. So, oh. you can you, uh, you, oh, I have a I'm gonna roll a nature check. And probably fail horribly mm -hmm. to see if I know about brownies or fae or any of that stuff. All right, you may have heard stories. All right, it's it, it's it, it's not unusual for fae-like creatures to play pranks or to trick uh, visitors into their wood. Um, but I mean, do I think it's a brownie or like a pixie or do I care? Um, it is definitely. It could be pixie size, judging by how. Uh, how much weight is put on the branch? Where the the, the size of the the the, the leaves, like the area of the leaves that were rustling, it could very well be pixie size, maybe a little bigger, uh, maybe brownie size, that kind of thing. 
I'm, do, do I notice any of this? Uh, unless Pickett tells you, then you probably um, don't. The two, of us, the, the two of us are back there, yeah. Yeah, so all right. He I'll, tells you uh, and he, he points I'll up to the branch. I'll signal for the branch. All right. He, so he points I'm, up to the branch. I'm actually going to do two things right now. I'm going to be casting two cat trips. Uh, I'm going to use minor illusion, and I'm going to use predestination. And where he kind of pointed to, I'm going to kind of do a little, with predestination, do a little fireworky thing mm -hmm. with the uh, minor illusion of congratulatory music. <laughs> All right. So of where he is to kind of like good joke. All right. Um, so. Da, 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 da. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you. Totally FF7 well, it's like the Final Fantasy win music. Okay. So like you, the... you, you play the music, and there is now a that laugh. That just leveled up. And dropping its invisibility, you see this small creature with butterfly like wings, uh, a beautiful violet iridescent uh, color uh, with a. A, a small, like, looks, it might be a prehensile tail. Um, it is a prehensile tail. Actually, it's grabbing one of the uh, branches, uh, one of the twigs attached to this large, larger branch it's currently sitting on. Uh, it has a um, fringe of violet and pink with a set of sharp um, teeth that is uh, giving you this toothy grin with uh, pale pink eyes. It looked like a miniature dragon. And as soon as Pickett and Quelloff see it, you guys can roll Arcana checks with advantage. I have a question. Do and, I recognize this from as a pseudo-dragon from before? Uh, it is not a pseudo-dragon. A pseudo-dragon is about the size of a cat. Yeah, But it does appear to be, Quelloff, you've heard tales of this um, uh, when you were studying all kinds of dragons in in your uh, covenant, um, Pickett, you have heard tales of these before from passing um, elves who have asked for pa who have traveled on your ship uh, to the eastern continent and Riodin, and you've heard. Okay, Quaff, you have not heard of these things before, um, but does Rio Riodin? You've heard tales. Pick it. You definitely know what this is. This is a fairy dragon. Um, fairy dragons are, they are cat size, uh, like pseudo dragons with the butterfly wings. And sure, this is, this is bigger than I thought it. Yeah. I didn't, I guess the description you gave me, I thought it was smaller than this. It, it's, a, it's about the same size. And you see it's tail like twitching, um, while it's looking at you and it's, it, it's kind of sitting, um, sitting down, um, back straight up. Uh, wings fluttering a little back, giving you this toothy grin, cocking his head to the side, and smiling. Are they evil? Uh, I asked someone. <laughs> Pickett, uh, from all accounts and purposes, you, these creatures are not mal malevolent. They're not, you know, bad. They're not malevolent. evil. Malevolent, sorry. Uh, generally, they are good um, creatures. Uh, they don't mean any harm. You've never heard of one attacking anybody. They seem to like to play pranks on um, visitors in their forest. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to King Kong, and I'm going to go, King Kong, what's that on your chest? What? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and... They're gonna giggle at. They hear a giggle. Yes, you do hear that same giggle. And this time, he that the creature does not appear to be covering its mouth, or he's just letting you know he's there at this point. I, I do some other silly joke like that, and I pretend to pull a gold piece out of my ear or something like that. And, and I you roll performance check. All right, because I'm going somewhere with this. Twenty three. All right, he the, that twenty. All right, the 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 fairy dragon starts busting out laughing, um, nearly what? falling off the branch, but his tail, which is um, his tail, which is wrapped around a small branch, keeps it from falling. And now he's just dangling upside down, looking at you. Is his skin tone the same color as that scale? No, this right. his skin is violet. I say, if you want more of this. Tell us where we could find this creature. I asked for directions to the creature. Uh, he, he looks at like, like, what creature, King? What creature are you talking about? Not like this creature. I point to King Kong. I mean, a creature like I described the creature that was described to us in the tavern. Ah, you're looking 
for that guy. Well, if you if if you pay the toll, maybe I'll tell you. What's the toll? The toll is. You got any cake? Pickett, you know from your no. check <laughs> that um, there sometimes you know travelers have paid fairy dragons. Um, with treasure in the form of baked goods, of shiny baubles, of things like that. Nothing. They're Did someone here order chocolate cake to go? <laughs> I have some. <laughs> do I? Do I hear? Do I hear the cake coming? At, at this point, you can. Oh, you I guys can, on purpose. Yeah. At this point, you can hear these guys talking. Um, he I is talking to you in draconic, actually, Quelloth. Um, I under- pick it. Pick it. Quelloth, uh, Riode, and I think you all speak Draconic. King Kong, I don't yeah. think you speak Draconic. I'll translate for King Kong. Okay. I'm going to reach into my bag. Do you have any of... chocolate, any cake, any... I, I pull out a bar of chocolate like... Oh, look at that. Like that. His nice eyes thing. grow wide with excitement. <laughs> but, 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 but wait, but where is the creature? Uh... Rara, let's give a little piece of it so you can taste it. Take, I crack off. It's a nice, thick, heavy chocolate. All right. See, so you see the he the 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 creature, the fairy dragon, starts to hover um, down, um, just just coasting over King Kong and Quell's head, and hovers t- in your direction, Riodin, and just looks and says, like, ah. "I put it in the mouth." Okay, so you're looking for big guy, orange, reddish, eats cows. Yeah. Poor legs. He, he 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 lives over there. Um, he and I talk from time to time. What's his name? Um, well, it's it's uh, his name is a uh, Scaloff. Is Scaloff funny? He's very serious. He doesn't serious? like my jokes. Mm. I'll get a, he'll get a girl kick out of me. Maybe. Do you think he's like, oh, good? He's like, uh, has he been? What is he just got in here recently, or has he been here for a while? He just he came about two months ago. He seemed very lost. I I I tried to help, but he 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 didn't really like my jokes he didn't like my pranks and we don't really talk too much these days i see him every once in a while though going through my wood i've i've i've, I've been here a little longer than he has would you characterize your friend as i'll, I'll just be blunt evil oh no 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 scatloff isn't evil he's just a little confused he's not from around here i he he, he described a, a strange place to me when I asked where he was from, and I I, I think he's confused. What's he, where did you say he was from? What was the description? Um, you 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 see the the fairy dragon close. I break off another. I break off another piece of chocolate. Oh, more <laughs> chocolate. He see he's from a place where there there are a lot of people with the the pointy ears. Kind of like, kind of like him. Vulcan. What's a Vulcan? I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> like, like him, and he he points to. Uh, Clearly, it's it's actually Romulan. <laughs> the Renato? Yeah. Ear, yeah. He pointy ear. Lots of tall people with pointy ears, and 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 and. He is, he must have traveled. Lots must of have sand. Traveled, he must have traveled quite far then. Robert. I, I don't know what it's in your your, your the, the common tongue. Um, could you describe this robur to, to me? It has sand and it has four pointy ears that are enslaved. What is a slave? A slave is well, it's it's complicated. Oh, okay. Well, I can point to the direction of your friend, and we'll help him or her out. You're not gonna hurt him, right? We're gonna help the situation. You have to prom. If I tell you where he is, you have to promise not to hurt him. 
That sucks. <laughs> I can promise not to start a fight. Make a persuasion roll. Because if he starts a fight, I'm not going to let him kill me. I, I guess that's okay. Roll persuasion. I guess that's fair. I, I, I suggest trying uh, to talk. He doesn't like chocolate. He, he... I cannot promise anything at this time. Mm -hmm. but as my friend here just said, we will do our best to avoid that. And if, if he confronts us, then we'll have to react accordingly. Okay. I guess I could tell you where he is. He's that way. There's a lake. Uh, there's a small lake, and there is a small den, with, and he describes a structure covered by trees. And there is, you know, there's a lake, and there's a stream, and he says you go over this log, and you go up, and, and then you should be able to see him. And there's a cat that wants my attention this whole time. Well, thank you for this, this helpful information. But one more question for you. Yes. Why was six afraid of seven? I don't know why. Because seven, eight, nine. Make another performance check. <laughs> oh, he he, he <laughs> stares at you and says, I am 50 years old. <laughs> if I had a gold coin for that joke, for every time that joke has been told to me, I'd be a very, very rich dragon. All right, I tried to do the whole thing. You, you paint your finger, you pulled off. Do <laughs> he thing, he doesn't look amused at this point. <laughs> just, just, just leave the chocolate and be on your way. <laughs> I take the bar of chocolate. I put it off to the side so no one steps on it. Yay! Thank you. No problem. Well, by the way, what was your name? My name is Kiwi. Kiwi. Oh, good job. <laughs> Kiwi. I had a server Kiwi once. All right. Actually, I, and I reach into my bag as well. I have some fresh fruit. I pull out a kiwi. If dragons fruit. could clap, he would be clapping. I pull dragons out a, can clap. I have a, hands. He has I pull claws, out, like little claws. Next, like next to the chocolate, I put down a kiwi, a small kiwi fruit. He <laughs> swoops down. He looks at it. You know, takes it, Don't bites bite. it. Mm -hmm. Say hi to Scallop for me, and he he takes a Scallop's his, the name of the other dragon. Yes, he takes the he takes the bar of chocolate in his uh, front two claws and um, dart flies up into the treetops with it, looking quite uh, satisfied with his prize. Let's head towards the lake. All right, um, I guess this is a good choice to stop. Um, it is nine forty, and I don't want Rhiannon to miss too much. And we will pick up here next time. Okay. You guys do it every other week? Is that what we're doing? Yeah. All right. Sounds good. All right. Thank you. All right. I'll, sure, you. Good. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll start a form thread uh, to reward XP. And, yeah, that should be it. Okay. All right. Thanks. See you, everyone. See you, everyone. Huh? See you.